to impact on the season ahead. Jurong's football club's first year in the S League was a bittersweet experience. Nicknamed number nine by the critics, the former NFL Division I champions was expected to finish bottom of last year's nine-team league. Despite two 4-0 defeats in their first two games, Jurong Scorpions later surprised bigger clubs like Geylang and Woodlands at their Gombak Stadium. Even with sponsorship problems and a bribery scandal, the young upstarts from Jurong still finish an impressive 7th. 1998 will be a whole new beginning for the club. The new Jurong East Stadium is now home to the Cobras and with 11 new signings and a strong sponsor, the club is set to unleash its venom. Besides retaining speedy Ghanaian Tanko Yatuma and midfield general Jason Ainsley, Jurong has also acquired two new English signings. 21-year-old Matthew Heisen is a versatile sweeper and a 1.86 meter tall Damon Henderson was a former reserve stop scorer with English Cup Leeds United. Back home in England, it's a lot of, you know, yourself against one centre-back, a lot of physical contact. I'm going to have to change slightly to accommodate myself to Singapore football. I'm used to being like, a big target man in the air, holding the ball up. But obviously now I'm trying to play a lot more technically because we're playing to feet, uh, get off defenders and actually running at them and making, making life hard for them in Singapore. One of Jurong's major problems last year was up front. The club had the worst goal scoring record with only 15 goals in 16 matches. Defender Isha Murin Barocha had to play as a striker and finish the season as a club's top scorer. To beef up their strike force, coach Jimmy Pearson has signed Joseph Pargason from Tiong Bahru and the controversial V Sundramuti from Woodlands. The former Singapore striker had a nightmare season playing only three full matches in 1997. I've been training for the last uh, about a month and playing some friendly matches. Uh, slowly and steadily I should be there for the S League. I like to play the whole season uh, without getting injuries or mismatches. And as far as my target is concerned, to win something with Jurong and then uh, to bring back the fans to Jurong. Former Woodlands defender Tamil Maran and ex Ballester stopper Boyan Hodak have also been acquired to strengthen the Jurong defence. With more players to choose from, it's no wonder that Scottish coach Jimmy Pearson is quietly optimistic. We don't have key players, we have 11 on the pitch and that's it. The same commitment is going to be there, the same effort's there. The players are blending well. I, I think they'll surprise a hell of a lot of people. At the tail end of last season, suspensions and injuries meant Jurong only had 13 players left to field. But this year, competition for places is expected. Everybody's brought the same standard fighting for it. Okay? So you don't do your job well, you sit on the bench. I've come better prepared this year, you know. I mean, I'm a lot fitter, a lot stronger. And uh, with the team that we've assembled uh, this year, I've got to be, got to be aiming for the uh, top three, top four place, you know. And the signs have been encouraging for the Cobras. Jurong beat Astley Club Tampines 1-0 and Tampines NFL 8-2 in two recent friendlies. How well the club performs in the season ahead will depend on whether Sundra Muti can rediscover his magic and whether their foreigners can make the grade. Given that a Cobra can kill an elephant with its sting, perhaps the Jurong Cobras will become a giant killer in 1998.